there's a wonderful book that you can buy here or at all good bookshops. It's called The Little Book of Babington. It's written by Julian Seaman, media director here at Babington. And Julian, I've brought you and Harry down to this part of the far sort of side of the course because there's an amazing photo in here where Gurgle the Greek goes under the trichaena and this is exactly the right spot. So I'm going to pass the mic to Harry and I want you two just to talk us through this, this fence. Well, this was your classic um, uh, sort of old-fashioned uh, fence, wasn't it, with a, with a, a steep slope down and, 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 then a, and then a trachea sort of almost in the bottom That's and then right, a slope up. There's a big up. log sort of about where Harry's head is. There's a big log over this ditch. Um, and um, it was a pretty hairy kind of fence. But one year, uh, Rachel Bayliss and Gurgle the Greek, they ground to a halt and slipped into the ditch and went through and out the other side. And it was those days perfectly legal and, and because they went between the flags. And they, they, they changed the rules because of that and yes, said, you now actually did. have to in jump the intended obstacle, not just go through the flags. But but that was a year where everyone was trying to work out how to jump it. And, and the horses, it was quite wet and the horse was slithering, slithering down the ditch. That's right. and, and my father had two horses that year and he he was the only person to do it, but he decided that he'd gallop flat out of this. Instead of uh, going down in a steady canter, slithering down and trying to jump this upright log, he galloped flat out, took off from the high ground up there and landed on the high ground over there and said he had a really good ride. No, it's a super. I had a go at this, I think, in 78 and um, I got a picture where my super horse I was riding um, no feet on the ground his little front feet are up and his back feet are just about to ping him off and over the thing and I had a super ride over this as well Do you know what Harry I've just, it's interesting because Harry does the most amazing course walks here at Babington I know you have lots of groups of people that you sort of that follow you around the course but there's surely money to be made Julian in having like an old Babington course walk <laughs> you two could do it people would pay hundreds of pounds to see that yeah, and we, 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 the old fool and the young buck <laughs> there could be a fleet of mobility scooters and, uh, and, and, and then some bicycles next door for my group <laughs> oh, your book's at the end of it <laughs>